<laughs> Just a casual drive by a beach while you're being chased by government agents. Just the vacation I was looking for, folks. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're hopping into Just Cause, an action adventure video game classic on the Xbox. Boy, I feel like action adventure describes pretty much 90% of all video games that exist, right? Like action adventure, what the heck does that even mean? What kind of game is this? Well, it's an open world game, sort of like Grand Theft Auto 3. Um, only you are running around on a tropical island, but all the staples are there. You're stealing cars, you're killing randos, you're causing chaos, you're being Loki incarnate. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop in here. Now I have something special planned today. This game was actually released simultaneously on the original Xbox and the Xbox th uh, 360. And not too many games... Well, I mean, there were games that were released right when the Xbox 360 came out, were released on both systems, but, I mean, later on in the Xbox 360's life, not too many games were ever released on the original Xbox and the 360 at the same time. So, uh, at the end of today's video, we're going to hop over to the 360 version for just a little bit and kind of see how it compares. But we're starting off today on the original Xbox, um, not the Xbox One. God, I hate that name. Why did they call the Xbox One the Xbox One? It's so confusing. The original Xbox is what we're playing on today. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start the game. Gonna hop into a new game here. Now, I have never played this game before. I only know what I read about it. And as far as the Just Cause series goes, it's pretty much like Grand Theft Auto, but there's a lot of emphasis on stunts and stuff. Um, in this version, I think it emphasizes things like parachutes, parasailing, skydiving. In the later Just Cause series, you have a grapple gun, and that's like a big staple of the series, but I don't think you have it in the original game here. Now, you can read the subtitles if you're interested. The backstory is basically that there's this tropical island, and there's this evil dictator who's running the island, so they're going to paratroop you in, an agent of absolute chaos. You're basically like the Joker before he went nuts and became a supervillain. He's just a intel military operative being paratrooped in to cause absolute chaos, kill people, and do whatever the heck you want. Which actually, you know, sounds like one of the best plots I've ever heard to justify an open world carnage game. Like, it, it literally means nothing is out of bounds. You can do whatever. Like, if you've ever played Grand Theft Auto 3, the plot is you're just a criminal and go. And so you do all these, like, criminal things and stuff. But, like, in reality, you know, once they catch you the first time, they wouldn't let you out the next day as happens in the game. You would literally be sent away for the rest of your life to jail. But in Just Cause here, you're like a government agent who's supposed to cause chaos, who's supposed to blow stuff up. So it totally makes sense. Like, you're actually being motivated to go and be like some crazy a-hole on an island and kill everyone that you possibly can. So this is our character. Yeah! You see him diving out of the uh, the plane at uh, high, high altitude. Oh, God. We, we get to choose when to deploy our parachute. Um, all right. So I guess A does it. Um, what would happen if we just fall to our death? <laughs> okay, we're not supposed to, but like, could you literally just like catapult your way into the ocean? We're oh god, this is scary! High speed dive into the ocean! Has this ever been done? Oh god, we're gonna break our neck! Oh god. Holy crap, he's alive! He's alive, not even close to the drop zone. Okay, hold on. You know what? I actually did want to see the parachute. Oh, we even have swimming commands. Um, so hold on. We're gonna actually gonna restart this literally just so I can see the parachute. All right, here we are again. This time I'm not gonna be stupid. I will deploy my parachute, and here we go. Woo! I'm waiting for you at El Rosario, but get your ass in gear. I'm expecting company. So this is pretty cool. Um, as I say, the later Just Cause games um, used um, a grapple. And that was sort of their claim to fame. I actually thought the grapple would be in this game. I haven't played any of the Just Cause games for myself, so I don't actually know um, what's in them. But uh, from my reading, I don't think you have the grapple in this gun. I could be mistaken, but I think this game had a lot of like base jumping and parachuting, as you see here. Um, what happens if you just want to land? I guess the downside of deploying your parachute so early is that now, like, 
Like, what do I do here? Oh, God, I pressed A to let go of my parachute. Okay. All right, well, this is what you do. So we can dive down really quickly, and we'll deploy our parachute again. hey -oh! oh, there we go. Try and land. I feel like I'm playing uh, Pilot Wings, the old Super Nintendo game. We'll just sort of uh, casually take in, take in the beautiful tropical scenery, guys. Look at this. You know what? If you were doing this in real life, this you'd pay thousands of dollars to do this. I'm giving it to you for free. Uh, press R to fi uh, fire. Okay, circle or white to switch target. White and black. Those are buttons on the original Xbox controller. We okay. This is taking too long. We. Oh, you thought I was gonna die, didn't you? <laughs> um, all right. Well, we mostly we mostly landed on the appropriate target. All right. How do you run? Um, he he's sort of running like a really proper British gentleman. Um, oh look, it's just a bunch of people having a party on the beach. Oh no, they're bad guys. They're bad guys. Okay, hold on. Let's kill these bad guys. Oh, boom. There you go. Um, so yes, very much like Grand Theft Auto. Except you're in a tropical paradise, which I think is like win-win. Um, you know, they're not going to win any awards from Bungie for having the best first-person, or I guess third-person in this case, shooter controls. But in terms of just a game that's a little bit of a tropical chaos, hey, hey, oh, why not? Why not me? Oh, look at this! Look how easy it is to kill guys in this. <laughs> they go down like they're made out of uh, they're made out of the Pillsbury Doughboy dough. Oh, they just, they just literally appear out of the back of vans. So keep keep a keen eye to, like, all the graphics and stuff like this. I'm curious to see, again, how the Xbox 360 version is going to hold up. Now, the first wave of games that came out for the Xbox 360 when it first released were basically just sort of, like, advanced Xbox original games. This always happens with the new console, where the first games that come out for it when it's new are not nearly as good as the, um as the games that are uh, released later. It's sort of like developers, re you know, ha they need some time to sort of figure out everything that a system can do. So like when a system first comes out, the games are kind of just like upgraded versions of games that you would have seen on, seen on the previous generation of consoles. So it makes sense that this game would be released on the Xbox original and the 360 at the same time. I am curious, this game must have been in development though for the Xbox original. And then when the 360 was coming out, they just sort of did like, I'm expecting just mildly upgraded graphics, honestly, for the 360 version. I'm not expecting any gameplay differences or anything like that. And, like, the graphics for this game actually hold up reasonably well, I would say. Like, again, I think we always say this when we play, like, an older 3D game. It's like, yeah, of course the graphics aren't state-of-the-art anymore. But, like, honestly, these are, like, very, very, like, reasonable graphics. They're not excessively you know, like, full of polygons or anything. They don't look that terrible. Like, as long as the gameplay in a game like this is solid, I feel like this this game, its graphics are perfectly reasonable for, for years and years to come, you know? Like, yeah, the newer graphics might be a little shinier and they might be a little less blocky and there might be uh, more smooth curves and edges and stuff, but, like, honestly, does, does this really look that bad? Maybe I'm showing my age. Okay, here, here's a question for you guys. For, for people who didn't grow up with an original Xbox, does this look bad? Do the graphics in this game look bad to you? I'm looking at this and I'm like, it, like literally I know that newer games have like much sleeker graphics and stuff, but like this looks perfectly reasonable to me. Nothing, nothing here looks bad at all, but maybe, maybe I'm just showing my age. Um, because I was around when some really early Polygon games came out. I mean, I remember when Star Fox was state-of-the-art, and people were like, Whoa! Geometric shapes! Um, do we have to, like, get in this? Cannot use vehicle... Wait, what am I supposed to do here? Um... Oh, going... Oh, I know. I'm supposed to shoot the barrels, aren't I? Boom! <laughs> That's what they told me about aiming. Alright, so, so far the controls are all pretty intuitive. They're doing a good job of... I've said this before. Tutorial levels, I'm not... Hey, hey! <laughs> Get back over here. I'm not a huge fan of tutorial levels, but this is sort of a pseudo tutorial level. It's basically the first, uh, the first parts of gameplay. It's mixing in stuff that you're gonna need to know how to do. I kind of like that. It's sort of like how Mega Man X technically its first level is a tutorial level, but it really just feels like level one. This just feels like level one. And as I'm going through the level, more and more complicated things are happening. I'm having to pick up the odd skill here or there, but it feels very natural. 
And I feel like that is definitely... I mean, it's something people knew way back in the days when uh, Mega Man X was created, but it's something that developers for years have still struggle with, jamming in artificial tutorial levels. When you really just program a really nice level one, that transitions you to more and more complicated um, things. I mean, actually, this lesson goes all the way back to Super Mario Bros. 1. If you go back and look at Mario Bros. 1, we take it for granted now, because, like, what idiot doesn't know how to play Mario Bros. 1? Boy, look at this beautiful scenery, by the way. Sorry, just to get off topic for a minute, but, man. You would pay to come to an island. Maybe not an island just like this, because there's way too many, like, random gun gun attacks going down. Imagine this was just a van of tourists, like, girls who came here from with their sorority. They're like, what's happening? He's opening fire with a machine gun. Tina, get us off the road. Tina, mount the curb. Take us into the jungle. He's opening fire. There's an Apache helicopter on our butt, Tina. What are you not understanding? Get us off the grid. <laughs> um, yeah, even going back to, like, Mario 1, like, Look at the first level of Mario 1. Imagine you've never seen a video game before. And other people have talked about this too, but um, like the first level is actually a, a, like a master's class in how you teach someone how to play the game. Because first you encounter a Goomba. Somebody walks on the Goomba, dies. They think, okay, maybe I should try jumping on the Goomba. You try and jump on the Goomba, you kill him. Then there's sort of like blocks that you can hit. And so now you've also learned you have to jump because you encountered the Goomba first. So you know you can jump, so you start hitting the blocks, stuff happens. The first mushroom is set up in such a way that it's really hard to miss it. Even if you try and jump over it, there's blocks in your way, so you bump into it. Then you gotta jump over a pipe, and then gra then you encounter your first pit, and so on. And so it's sort of like, more and more mechanics sort of ge keep getting uh, one after the other. Whoa, what's that keychain? Look like Stan Lee for a second. Uh, one mechanic after the other keeps sort of compounding until eventually you know how to play the game, and... Um, personally, those are the games uh, that I find the most enjoyable, where you never feel like you're in class, you know? It's even like a lesson for teachers. The best kind of learning is when you don't feel like you're learning. And uh, it translates into video games, it translates into life, man. So if you are a teacher out there, teach people without letting them know they're being taught. Oh, God! And don't get slapped in the face. I have not been paying attention to this story. He looks like a young Sully from Uncharted. Um, so I don't know what's going on in terms of the story, but there's a gray-haired but young and attractive woman who does not like us. Um, gr gray hair on a young woman is, like, oddly attractive. I don't know what it is. It's weird. Uh, most people would not say gray is, like, an attractive hair color, but for some reason, it's sort of, you know, like, uh, young women, in order to have gray hair, have to dye their hair, of course. Um, so... Uh, I guess natural gray is obviously less appealing, but I don't know. There's it's something funky It's sort of like a girl having like pink or like some other crazy hairstyle it just suggests she's sort of like, you know edgy, maybe it's the edginess that is uh, Somewhat appealing. Oh wait, they're telling us stuff. I wasn't paying attention first aid locker guns There was like ammo and stuff Yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out save your progress with the satellite uplink will do we can just uh, download our brain into the satellites, like in uh, Altered Carbon. New vehicles are available in some safe houses. Cool. Um, all right. See, now I feel like we're learning. But you know what? I'll, I'll give them a pass. This is just some basic info that you need to know. Um, all right. So we have a mission that we can take. Or where was that sweet hog of a motorcycle that we saw? That BMX behemoth. Here it is, man. Let's go ahead and hop on this thing. And, uh, off to the races we go, yeah! Um, uh, accelerate with R, brake and reverse with L. Yeehaw! This is cool. Hold on, let's do just a little bit of dirt biking on the compound, and then we'll come back here. Or maybe, like, slightly off the compound. We're on vacation, after all. And the, so the context of this video game is me, Gaming J, after playing hundreds and hundreds of games, has decided to take a sweet tropical vacation. But like all the, but like everything in my life, it is heavily gamified. So this is me on this island enjoying a sweet tropical vacation while I have to shoot t narco terrorists and otherwise perform awesome video gamey type stunts. Yeah, it's funny how like if you were like like okay motorcycling like this in a video game, it's kind of interesting. Man, look at the scenery. The scenery looks so nice, so lush and beautiful. This is awesome. Um, but this can quickly become tedious to people, you know, like motorcycling like this. 
But if you were actually on vacation and you had to, like, motorcycle around um, an island like this, like, you would just be, like, taking it all in. You'd be, like, looking at the scenery. It'd be lush and beautiful. Like, it's interesting how something in video games that in real life would be so amazing in video games can be kind of boring or banal. And then it's interesting how the opposite's true. Like, doing dishes in real life sucks. But if there was, like, a dishwashing minigame in this, um, people would probably, like, practice it till they get really good at it. So it's like the things in real life that are boring are interesting in games and vice versa. I, n I never figured that out. I can't figure out a formula for what is boring and what isn't. All right, so this is the big old bad guy that uh, we need to take out. Salvador Mendoza. He's uh, in bed with the Montago... Mon Mon oh, God. Montano drug cartel. <laughs> Sometimes I have trouble reading, guys. Um... Etc. Etc. So basically, my job is to cause chaos, to destabilize the government. I'm pretty good at that after years of playing Grand Theft Auto 3. Um, the title for this game, by the way, is kind of like an interesting uh, double entendre. Um, oh, she doesn't have gray hair at all. She has blonde hair. All right, well, less edgy. A real hombre. You better get moving. Um, so Just Cause... I always thought this was like a, a great name for a video game series because you could take it as just cause. Like you have you have just causes for going out and doing things. Like you are justified essentially is another way to say it, you know. Like you, you're justified in the actions you're performing. You have just causes. On the other hand, you could also take it uh, to mean eh, just cause. You know, like why are you blowing up that helicopter? Eh, just cause. Why are you gunning down a, a, a raft of civilians for no apparent reason? Meh, just cause, you know, like, you're just, it's just cause, you know? Um, and it, it's such a such a smart name for a, games, uh, a game because, like, that's the perfect name for a game where you're, like, running around on an island blowing stuff up. Like, it, kind of for, like, justice, but also kind the real reason, you know, gamers are doing this is just cause. You know, like in Grand Theft Auto 3, nobody told you to, like, enter a cheat code to get a rocket launcher and a tank and just start demolishing the city. But what does everyone do before they're done with Grand Theft Auto 3? They enter a cheat code to get the rocket launcher and the tank and they start demolishing the city. Just cause. That's why gamers do anything. Just because it feels good. And uh, what a great name, for, great name for a game. And again, it ties into the story really well. Black dots are helpful hints. All right. Well, forget them for right now. Um, I feel like I'm praising this game a lot, um, and I haven't rendered my full verdict on this game yet. We'll wait until I've actually played a bit more of it. Uh, but I just, I just happen to think the title is really, is really brilliant. Maybe the game, maybe I'll, uh, the more I play this game, the more I'll dislike it, and then by the end I'll say, by the way, never play this game. It sucks. Uh, but I'll still, still be on board with the title. Okay, the prison is somewhere over there. We are going in the wrong direction. So guess what? We're going off the grid. This wasn't on your tour guide. Oh, got into a tree! Oh, man, we landed it. I'm, I'm impressed by this guy. Oh! Did I do a stunt? Did I just do a stunty? Oh, God! <laughs> Not into the highway. Okay, he's over on that island. So we actually... Oh, we have to go up because we have to go on this bridge. Gotcha. All right. Well, we're getting a nice little, uh, I'm giving you guys the scenic vista tour of the, uh, island here. Yeah! Oh, that's, that's fun. That's fun. Oh, it's disorienting, though. Oh, God, where am I? <laughs> Damn it. Oh! I, okay. The camera angle there, when it, when it, when it made me do the, like, the jump, I lost my orientation, and then I flew off the very cliff I had just motorcycled up. Then I landed hard hurt my butt, flew off the motorcycle, and opened fire with my machine gun. That is, that is, uh, that is quite the fail there. All right, back onto the highway. Let's try and hit this person. Oh, that was a cop. Oh, and he's just straight up opening fire onto us. Oh, God, we're doing donuts in front of the cop. We got hit by a Jeep. Where am I? Oh, I'm still on the motorcycle somehow. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Sorry, local law enforcement. I respect the police. Oh! Okay, how do we run? Oh, the hell with it. Let's just kill him. All right, we're going full Grand Theft Auto style. The Sedan Patrol Compact. It's like a car from the 60s. This is actually something... Accelerate with R and brake with L. 
This is actually something that's semi-true about uh, if you ever go to Cuba or anything like that. I know Americans aren't allowed to go to Cuba, but Canadians are because we're not Americans. And uh, if you ever go like to Cuba or even like other places where I guess Americans can go, like Dominican Republic and stuff, but especially Cuba, they have all these like cars from the American 60s. It's like really interesting. And somebody told me once, and I don't know if this is true, but somebody told me that a lot of the cars in Cuba, they can only get cars from two places, from Europe, because they can't trade with America, or they can have cars that they had from America from before the embargo was sort of put on them in the 60s. So basically the reason that in Cuba there's so many really, really old American cars is that they had to keep the cars running because they can't really get new cars. So they just maintain the cars they've had since the 60s. Whereas in America, you know, if an old car breaks down, you just get a new car. Oh, we, oh, we're stunting our way into this prison. Okay, we better get out of this car. I'm pretty sure it's done. All right, this is how you invade a prison. Are we invading this thing? Or are we supposed to come here peacefully? I think we're invading it now. <laughs> Terminator 2 style. We got to break Sarah Connor out of this place. Okay, so let's uh, go ahead and blow this thing up. Blammo! It did nothing. Uh-oh. Let's gun this guy down. hey -oh! You feeble cops. Can we open the door here? Okay, we can't. Oh, that, that thing opened. Okay, hold on. How do we jump? There we go. All right, we, there is a jump button. hey -oh, They opened the gate. They're like, better let him in. We'll, we'll, we'll have an easier chance of killing him once he's in here. Except that we're really bad at our jobs. Oh, God. Turns out he's armed. All right, we're just walking our way in. Oh, look, they even have a moat. What kind of prison is this? What year was this thing made in? This is like a medieval fort. All right, I'm here to see my Uncle Doug. And break him out! Ah, psych! Oh, look at this. Yeah, I'll use the Why do you have a mounted gun, like, aimed into the prison yard? That's hardcore. Everybody exercise and have fun. We're just gonna aim this M4 mounted machine gun at you the entire time. That would be the most stressful prison ever to be in. Not that prison's not supposed to be stressful, but like, uh, are you are you not supposed to like make the inmates think they're gonna die at any moment? Doesn't that like violate some kind of like uh, international accords of like, you know, humanity or something? Um, what's happening there? I was trying to shoot those guys, but I couldn't. Um, where am I supposed to go in here? Oh, I'm going away. Okay. My radar tells me. I'm 43, 41, 40, 39, 38, 37. I'm getting close to where I need to go. I need to go right over here. Hello. What are all you punks doing here? Where are all the inmates, by the way? It's like nothing but prison guards. Oh my god, that guy lived. What the heck? I, I, I was like, why am I getting shot in the back? Okay, let's, there's birds in here too, majestic tropical birds. Um, where am I supposed to go here? I don't quite understand. <laughs> Shoot you in the back. <laughs> uh, okay, let's, let's see on this catwalk here. <laughs> oh, they like throwing grenades at me and stuff too. Jeez. Okay, I gotta go down there. We're going to go the short way. Hey, oh, and we're gonna parachute. Oh, it didn't work. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, look, we found a prisoner. You bastards! Slap me around some more, you dumb cowards! You can even kill me. I like this guy's moxie. Scared you don't make me, you pigs! He's gonna be my new best friend, man. I like his, like, uh, his, like, South American insults and attitude. You can slap me around, you pigs, but you'll never kill me. Hey, you have made one very powerful friend today. Yeah, man. Some great things together. Let's be best friends. Hang out on weekends. I have an, an original NES. It's awesome. Have you... Let me ask you something. Have you ever played Hogan's Alley? Because it is a good game. And it will help us. It, it has the, the skills necessary to break out of a prison, which is just shoot everyone. And cans. If we need to shoot some cans, I am your man. Um, why am I... What's going on here? Oh, look! Two guns! Alright, let's do this. Okay, so I think now we just gotta break out. Boom, 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 boom! Oh, yeah! Um, alright, follow me, I think? If I can remember where the exit is. It's over here somewhere. Um, so the missions are pretty straightforward, I would say. Ah, sweet freedom! <laughs> Soon. 
All of my people will drink from this cup. Meet me later at the gorilla camp. Alrighty, dude. See ya. I, you know what's awkward? I'm going the same way, too. It's one of those things where he's like, ah, oh, thanks for saving me. He starts to, like, go this way. I'm like, no problem, man. And then, we're, uh, and then we're just sort of, like, walking in the same direction still. You ever have that? And it's sort of like, oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, this is awkward now. Like, when you say goodbye to someone, but they're still going the same way as you. Kaboom! I can't believe that works. It's awesome. I'm trying to run this car off the road. Oh, he just spun himself out. <laughs> Most ineffective cop ever. All right. So now, I guess the idea is to go back to the gorilla camp. So this game is very much... Grand Theft Auto in a tropical paradise. I mean, it's the exact same idea. You got missions, you have safe houses, there's cops and stuff. Oh god, get out of there. You can parachute, which is somewhat novel. Um, <laughs> it's gonna take your car there. I wonder if they can pull you out of the car. So far, no one's done it. Alright, easy. Um, oh, look at the night sky, too. So lovely. Lovely graphics in this game. Uh, but yeah, ba basically Grand Theft Auto in a tropical paradise, which is nothing too, nothing too bad. I think the later just causes when you had, I think having the grapple or the grapnel or whatever, that like grapple gun where you can like grab onto helicopters and fly up in the sky and stuff. I think that quite dynamically changes the game. Um, and again, I'm pretty sure this series has it. Just pretty sure the first one here, uh, you know, they just hadn't really thought of it yet. Um, God, stop ramming me, jerk. You know I'm gonna get away. Why even bother? Um, so without having played the sequels yet, I think I can already say that um, I think one of the other just causes... Oh, God! <laughs> he forced me into a stunt. Would be uh, would be more interesting these days. Oh, my God. Hey, look. A car. <laughs> as soon as he got out, I got in the passenger side door and then stole his car. Stunt position. Oh, look at this. Oh, interesting. So while you're driving a car, you can get into stunt position. You can jump off a car. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's no grapple gun, but that's that's pretty cool. So it isn't entirely like Grand Theft Auto. They, it definitely is sort of trying to be its own thing. It's trying to be a little more stunty, a little more action-y than Grand Theft Auto. Go, 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 go. Come on, four-wheel drive. Show me what you're made of. Oh god, I'm into like a village. Can I squeeze through here? Nope, I can't. Alright, we're just gonna casually abandon this car right there. Nothing to worry about. Um, who's shooting me? Ow, ow. Okay, sir, I need your car. Sir, I need your car. Oh, thank you. He, he actually just straight up got out of his car. They're smart around here. They're like when an armed when an armed narco security guy shows up and asks for your car, you just just get out of the car. You just give him the car. No questions asked. Oh, this thing handles like like ass, man. Your car sucks. Jeez, no. Maybe he was like, oh, thank God, I can now I can claim it for the insurance. Like maybe it was some crap car he didn't want anymore. Ah! Oh, I think I'm going into the ocean. Oh God, abandon the car. Holy crap. That was actually totally awesome. Now I'm kind of trapped in a valley, though. And this is turning into, like, the sloppiest prison break ever. You know what's r more ridiculous? The guy who I broke out of prison has probably had a very calm night. Whereas me, it's been, like, nothing but chaos to try to escape. Also, I'm, like, walking up a cliff. This is the real skill. Forget about grappling. He li He's walking casually up a cliff. That's, that's insane, man. And is and he's walk and he's doing it at the same speed of walking flat. You'd have to have like calves and quad muscles like a donkey to be able to do that. Like, have you ever tried like when you walk up stairs? Sometimes uh, too many flights of stairs is like way more difficult than uh, than um, you know walking on flat surface. Imagine walking up like a vertical, a sheer cliff with your feet. He, this guy's got mountain goat DNA in his blood. Okay, this, we're taking like the very long walk to our uh, to our base here. Is there no way to run? There's, there's no run, eh? Oh, you can shoot. Um, all right, now he's just gonna walk down a cliff. He just decided to go for a nice evening hike. That's it. He has 650 meters further to go. Oh, walking through a tropical paradise. 
All right, well, uh, this is gonna take a while. Okay, we found our way out to a road, so we'll be able to steal a new car. Um, do you guys ever get the sense that these, like, open-world games, they're basically sort of like childhood fantasies come to life. So, um, you know, like, when, when you're a kid, or even when you're an adult, so don't you, like, oh, that guy's, like, speeding away. Don't you just have those thoughts sometimes where, like, man, like, how crazy would it be to just, like, like, just not give a crap? Come on, get out of your car. Um, to, like, just, you know, like, like, steal cars and run around and, like, jump off buildings and... Just do whatever you want with no consequences. Like, isn't that sort of like a, just a fun fantasy of like, like if you could just do that in real life? Um, and I think these open world games are literally just tapping into that. Like, again, maybe it's just me, but like as a kid and even as an adult, sometimes you have those moments where you're like, oh, I, just, I just wish there was no rules and I could just do whatever I want for like a day. And then I could like reset it and undo it so I don't end up going to jail or whatever. Oh wait, this is not where I'm supposed to go. Oh, interesting. Oh, there's another safe house over here. Okay. Um, so, yeah, maybe it's just me, but I, I sort of feel like that's what these open-world games kind of tap into, is this fantasy of, like, I'm just going to, like, you know, let go. Let go of all of society's rules, all the laws, any expectations that anyone has of me, and I'm just going to go crazy. Um, and these open-world games, I think, I think that's why games like, like when Grand Theft Auto 3 came out, it was so impressive. Because it was like a, a semi-good simulation of a city, uh, at least for the time, but you literally had no rules. You could do whatever you want. Oh, look at that beautiful sunset, by the way. Look at like, the, these gorgeous rendered uh, sunset graphics. Let's run this guy into a tree. Kablam! Oh my god, he's really hanging along. Jeez. He's, uh, he's being a real, a real annoying patoot. Okay. Oh, we got him to hit a car, though. <laughs> oh, but there's... Oh, he he hit a tree. Okay, can you guys give up already? You're not going to catch me. You're not going to catch me. Um, yeah, so the fantasy of just, like, doing whatever you want. I think as as games get more and more advanced, we're going to see even more of that. Not, not that open world games have ever stopped, but, you know, simulation, like, life simulation is going to get more and more and more and more advanced. I mean... Um, I feel like Grand Theft Auto 3 was a bit of a revolution, and then things kind of slowed down. There's just been derivatives of it. I can't think of the next game that's really been, like, a huge leap forward. I mean, I guess you could say things like Stardew Valley and stuff, where you're, like, sort of simulating what it would be like to, like, live a, a less violent life. Boom. All right, let's... Oh, we just dived out of the car. I love how he does, like, action hero style things. Okay. Oh! Oh! What? <laughs> Our own car ran us over. Oh, God. Okay, uh, I was literally almost killed by myself. Hey, he had a uh, hot gorilla. Um, oh, <laughs> bro, sister. <laughs> I guess he does. I, I was going to say lover waiting for him. Um, I mean, they're, they're kind of being a little too close for comfort, right? Is it just me? Things is things are seeming a little too close between those uh, siblings. Um, he must vanish. Dude, you just said I was going to be your best friend. Now you're peacing out? What a load. That's like the type of friend who's like, man, anytime you need a favor from me, just call on me. Anyway, see you now. And they like totally disappear for like months at a time. Like they stop answering their phone. They're like, you did me a solid. Anytime you need a favor, I am on it. Except for today. And I'll see you later sometime. And they just bail. Bad friend, man. Bad friend. All right, we're in Provincia, whatever it was. I didn't catch the full thing. Uh, if you need an emergency vehicle, request a heavy drop from your PDA. I have a PDA? Also, isn't that kind of dated technology? Hold on. How do we bring up a PDA? Select, maybe? Um, ex oh, what the heck? You can request extraction. Oh, cool. Guerrilla retaliation? Oh, my God. That's so neat. Um, heavy drop. You can... <laughs> a dirt bike. <laughs> Wait. A heavy drop can range from everything from a gyrocopter, a jeep, a speedboat, or a crappy... Hey, a crappy motorcycle. Okay, let's... Let, I'll bite. I want to see. Okay, show me this heavy drop. Are they just going to parachute it in or what? 
Where's it? Oh god, it almost landed on me. All right, awesome. Well, that's cool. All right, so they definitely have some cool mechanics that uh, Grand Theft Auto didn't have here. What else can we... Mission information. We can check out the map. Cool. All right, let's try, let's try one more mission here. We're not really going to get this that far in this game at all. Uh, let's try a mission, then we'll go on a bit of a shooting spree, and then we'll pop over and see what the Xbox 360 version looks like. That's our plan for today, guys. We'll take the uh, more scenic route through the jungle here. Not intentionally, just by accident. I, I looked over for a second, look at my notes, and I look back. I'm like, in the jungle. Oh! We're also pretty low on health. What happens when you die? Is it just like game over? Or does this guy have like, uh, you know, South American health care? Um, here we go. Through the jungles. Yeah. Oh, oh, I can't see where I'm going. Oh, into a rock. Man, this, this bike spins out like crazy. Um, you know what we do have to try though? Okay, hold on, actually. Oh, stop! Oh! That's one way to stop a car. Jump off of your motorcycle. Maybe I'm trying to claim the insurance money off of this guy. Alright. Get out of your car. I need this car. Alright, thank you. Okay. We're gonna go stunting on this car. Huh? And then... Oh, God! That did not work. I just... I didn't even have a chance to look at the controls. Where did his van go? We stole his van to drive it off a cliff. That's like something rude teenagers would do. Where did his van go? Huh, okay. Well, we'll steal another car instead. Let's kill this guy. Are you a civilian? I guess you're unarmed. Yeah, you keep, you run for that beach, man. Enjoy beach day. Hey, get to the beach. Get your ass to the beach. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Um, oh, I think somebody dived off their motorcycle and just ran. And they saw what happened to that other guy. Um, is this like a little cafe over here? Oh no, we want this car. Out of the car, man! Look at this. A little cafe. Yeah! It's locked, though. Oh, what a nice little, like, beachside community you've got here. And a gas station. Cool. Alright, let's try a stunt the proper way. Okay, so once we're driving... We can get into stunt position. Oh god, the car just pulled to the right. And then we can... Okay, I was going to jump off the vehicle, but it didn't look very stunty right there. Okay, we're going to try this one again. Oh god. Try not to kill ourselves, we'll be back up. Okay, we're going to go off this cliff here. So we're going to... Oh! <laughs> oh, why am I so bad at this? Oh, he's diving too! He's like, god, don't kill me, man! Don't kill me! Where's th where'd the car go though? Did you see my car? Oh, here it is. Okay, once more. This thing's this this old jalopy is getting pretty beat up, but we're gonna stunt, man. We, people showed up for the stunts, and they're gonna see a stunt. Okay, stunt position. Jump! Parachute! Okay, kind of worked out. Kind of worked out. Oh, God. Hey, in the car. No, don't go in the water. It's driving away from me. It's like, forget you, man. Forget you. Literally just... <laughs> oh, and then it explodes. Oh, man. That's actually hilarious. We could, like, dive down and, like, find the wreck. Um, okay. Go up here. Interesting. Now we're just going for a nice casual little swim. Oh, man. Can we steal... A boat. Could we steal a boat? Oh, are they coming to run me over? Or to... What are they doing here? Use vehicle. Oh, we're in it! We're in it! Oh, we're in a boat! Hey, wait, there was there was no driver here. I didn't have to kick anyone out. This is just uh, one of those robo-boats you hear everything about. You know, the self-driving boats. The sort of drive around looking for people. Lost swimmers or whatever. Oh, I want that boat, man. Why did that one come to me, too? I'm walking on the water. Give me your... Oh! <laughs> He's like, please bring it back! See ya! <laughs> Didn't even have to do anything to convince that guy. Just like, give me your boat. Awesome. We are boating, guys. This is truly a gaming day vacation. I'm in vacation mode, you know? Like, yeah, we're going to get to another mission, but I got to ram people with my speedboat that I stole first. Did a little bit of swimming and some stunting. You know, good stuff. All right, well, we're done with that boat. Um, let's get up here to our other mission. So lots of fun stuff to do in this game, actually. 
Uh, like a cool, a cool iteration on top of like the model that Grand Theft Auto gave us. All right, our next mission: we just broke someone out of jail, so that's not very vacationy. Initiate settlement liberations by speaking to the gorilla waiting outside the village. All right. Oh, we're gonna liberate a village now. You know, this is a work vacation. This is totally. I thought I was here to just enjoy the tropical scenery and kill random tourists. They really, they really got me. They really got me running errands here. Also, I am not dressed well for a vacation at all. I'm in like a black goth suit. Um, I feel like I'm dressed like uh, that guy from like um, uh, Rainbow Six games or the Tom Clancy games. You know, the like sneaky guy. Oh, stop hitting me with cars, man! All right, start the liberation. Pull L to throw grenades. Press White to target in the air. Uh, to liberate a settlement, kill the enemy troops, create chaos until the liberation meter. All right, awesome. Let's do it. Kill people and create chaos. Um, where are the bad guys? Yeah. Uh, I I tried to throw a grenade. Oh, you were killed. <clears throat> okay. Well, to be fair, I wasn't feeling 100% that day. Uh, then we go continue. So this is what happens when you die, apparently. You just go back to where you were. Okay, let's see what we can pull down. Let's pull down. Uh, we're gonna pull down our heavy drop. Please drop a motorcycle. Let's see what else we can do here. Uh, we'll try an extraction, a cartel relation. Interesting. Gorilla re relation. Oh, those. I thought this is retaliation. I thought you could call in guerrilla fighters and stuff. I was like, that's that's an awesome feature. If you're like in the middle of a big battle, you call in guerrillas and they'd like show up. Like not like not monkey guerrillas, but like you know guerrilla soldiers. They kind of like show up at the borders of the battle, like from the brush and whatever, and they just start joining the fight. That would be totally awesome. I guess I guess that's a little too OP. Calling in massive amounts of reinforcements. Um, okay, <clears throat> so. We are gonna go and do this mission. Hey oh You like that? Give me your car. Oh you you jerk. Oh I'm low on health still. Hold on. We gotta heal before we go on this crazy mission. Alright, we're going back to our old base. Oh god, the easy way! Oh Oh man, I took a branch to the face there. But I but you know what? The key thing is I made it. I made it to my old Hacienda safe house. That, that was definitely the fast way. There's my heavy drop. A motorcycle is just part of the jungle now. I'm gonna let it explode and decay of its own accord. Alright, I'm pretty sure there were health packs somewhere around here. At least, dear God, I hope there were. Restore health. Broop. Boom. Free healthcare, baby. That's what you need on vacation. Okay, on the way to the uh, next mission, which will be the last mission that we check out here today, I do want to get a car... And I do want to, like, jump off a cliff and parachute properly. So we're going to try it right around here. Now that we're full health, we're feeling good. We're going to go ahead and steal this car here. Give me your your hippie van. I got an amazing stunt to do. You guys are going to love it. It's going to be awesome. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I keep pressing the, the wrong button. All right. Well, beggars can be choosers. You give me your cop car. I'll do it off a cop car. Even more epic. It's even more epic to do an illegal stunt out of a police vehicle. This is how you abandon a police car, man. Okay, here we go. You get some speed going. Very little speed, but that's okay. And then you jump and parachute. Oh, yeah. Oh, and there the car goes into the ocean. Um, yeah, so there you go. Okay. We did a stunt. <laughs> if you get better at this game, you can probably pull off way more epic stunts than that. But that is officially, technically, a stunt. Oh, I think the car just exploded. <laughs> yep, there it is. All right, a bit of light cardio, scaling a mountain, a sheer cliff. Um, let's get back over to where the gorilla was. And we're going to ride in style. We're taking a freaking tour bus. I can figure out how to get in this thing. Oh, yeah. If you'll direct your attention to the right, you'll see the police who are currently after us. 
To the left are some uh, beautiful ocean vistas right through the brush there. Um, nobody panic. This is the official Blue Lines tour. Oh, God. Um, we may have to abandon our tour people. If the cops do not get off of our bus, people in this bus must just be losing their shit. They're like, oh my god, somebody kidnapped the bus. There's like six cop cars here. All right, get, get, just get away from me. Oh, that that guy got out of the car, and then his his buddy just kept on driving. Oh god, they're totally gonna blow that thing up. All right, you guys can have the bus. <laughs> oh, it blew up all the cops. That's the way to do it, man. What did I do to piss all you guys off? Seriously, can you guys just leave me alone? Ah, parachute! Oh god, I think uh, I think I just slammed into the car. Oh god. Oh, there goes my car. <laughs> I think we lost the cops. I hope. Is that, is that gold? Is that pure gold? Yo, this is like gold, man. I don't know why it's shining so bright. That must be gold. Uh, liberating a settlement. Okay, just leave me alone. Oh, God. These stupid cops. So once the cops are after you, there must be a way to, like, get them away. I know from Grand Theft Auto, the more you fight the cops, the worse they get. So that's the one annoying thing so far. Is the cops. It's the damn, the damn law. Okay, once I, once I initiate the settlement, though, hopefully either the cops go away or my allies start shooting the cops, too. Alright. Let's kill, let's kill some baddies. I don't know who's who's good and who's bad, so I'm just gonna kill absolutely everyone for whom a crosshair appears. Okay, that looks like a lot of cops. Are the cops the bad guys? I don't know. It's just firing indiscriminately into the crowds here. I wish I had a machine gun. These guys, yeah, these guys go down pretty easily. So yeah, the first per or the the third person shooter controls in this game are actually like. They're, they're like passable, but they're like not great, I would say. Like no, nobody's playing this game for the shooting mechanics. It's uh, pretty bare bones, pretty basic. But I mean, Grand Theft Auto is the same way. The game was far more about the driving and the, the chaos and the simulation than it was necessarily about the gunplay. So, okay, I guess, I guess killing cops is what we're supposed to be doing here. Maybe, I don't 100% know, but we're, we're gonna keep killing cops. All right, did we do it? Government blockade. Oh, that woman just flew over the thing and died. Holy crap. We have to like, oh, we have to destroy this blockade. Okay, guess what? I am, I am on top of it. Here we go. Okay. Oh, the government blockades. Oh yeah, see, so you gotta like ram it with a car. Interesting, cool. Why would the government be interested in this like random little village, I wonder? What's their end game here? Kaboom! Kaboom! Uh oh, I'm like stuck. Oh, here we go, here we go. And, oh, <laughs> not even facing it anymore. What's happening? Here we go. Ramming the rocket! Yeah! We did it, level one complete. And we can like run, oh, is that guy on our side? I don't even know. Yeah. Okay, we better get out of this thing. Yeah, throw a grenade in my own car. That did nothing. The oh, there it goes. Yeah, oh man. Chaos. Okay, I need a gun that has ammo. Oh, here we go. Kill, 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 kill. Can we throw another grenade? Yes, we can. Threw another one at the at the uh, blockade. Kaboom! Government blockade is done. Oh look, we're just gunning these people down. Kill the government troops. What do you think I've been doing? Taking them for coffee? Hey, like the village is getting more sophisticated the deeper into the village we get. So I guess this is how you like unlock a town. You go in and slaughter everyone you can. A anyone who works for the government. Bring down the government, baby. We'll throw a. Uh... Two more grenades at the government blockade. Kaboom! Oh, that was, one grenade was all we needed. Kill all these guys, guys and gals. This guy on our side, I can't even tell. Like, I can kind of tell the guys on our side are in green and the cops and stuff are in blue. But like, sometimes in the chaos, it's kind of like hard to see who's who. 
Anyone, basically anyone for whom there is a, a target, I will kill. Okay, did we do it? Did we do it? What is this? Switch flags. Yeah, we have liberated the town. This town now, now belongs to the Narcos. I guess I am working for the Narcos, I've decided. I am a uh, narco enforcer. They call me the Jackrabbit. I don't know why. Kind of a weird name for somebody from South America, but it's my name. Working for the Riojas and the Gorillas earns prestige points, which builds up your rank as you access more advanced uh, weaponry. Cool. Next stop, Maricuri. Cute town. Nice place to start a war. All right. So now the town is uh, is liberated. She's terrified of me, though. She's like, I know what you're going to do. You're totally going to kill me. You're totally going to You're right. You're right. I am going to kill you. <laughs> anyway, so... Um, Murderous rampages aside, oh, how dare you? How dare you? Oh, he, he, where'd he go? Oh, <laughs> the hell was that? Okay, well, we're not going to do better than that. Um, so this has been Just Cause on the, oh, what the hell will they all do that? What the hell? <laughs> oh my God, that's awesome. This has been Just Cause on the Xbox. We're going to hop over real quickly now and check it out on the Xbox 360, and I'll wrap up my thoughts of this game over there. All right, right from the get-go, we're parachuting into the island here. You can already see that the game has very nice visual improvement. I mean, everything just looks far more sort of like sleek and uh, more detailed, and you can see farther, and there's more trees and stuff, pretty much as we predicted. I mean, I think we predicted this. It, uh Visually, the game would look far nicer on the Xbox 360. We even got, like, uh, sort of reflection on the water and stuff there. Like, the game actually does look quite a bit more stunning, I, I will say. Like, look at the look at the effects on the water. It's actually really nice. Um, like, I did say that um, I thought that this game um, held up. I thought that this game held up on the original Xbox. And... I stand by this, but I am playing this kind of like realizing how big of a graphical difference we're getting here in this first level even like think like you can actually just see far much more detail of like what you're doing. Um, so yeah, I mean the original, oh god, the original graphics, you know, they're like good enough. Um, and if there was no advanced way to play this game, they would be fine. But you actually do definitely notice a difference here in terms of the uh, the graphics. Oh man, that beast just looks... So, man, I really want to go on a beach vacation. Just look at this. I know we're getting shot in the back right now, but just look how majestic that is. It's worth a couple bullets to the back. Like, oh, my God. Imagine swimming in that. Look at the sky. Oh, my God. Anyway, back to killing these fools. So let's uh, let's scoot past the tutorial mission here, and then uh, we'll just sort of go and have a little bit of fun while I wrap my thoughts up here. So, uh, yeah, here we are, just kind of cruising around in the island. Um, just Cause here, I think it's a cool game. I think it's 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 a neat sort of iteration, uh, a neat expansion of sort of what Grand Theft Auto 3 was all about. I want to steal a car and try a stunt uh, in the 360 version here. I think the 360 version definitely feels like a big upgrade. It's interesting, only the graphics really have been upgraded. I can't tell if the engine has been upgraded at all as well. The game plays very similarly, but it just sort of feels like, you know what it feels like is when, um, if, if anyone out there uh, wears glasses, when you were a kid and you didn't know you needed glasses, uh, and the world would just look a little fuzzy to you, and but you didn't even realize it was fuzzy. That's what the Xbox version looks like. Because then when we're playing the Xbox 360 version, now I'm looking at it being like, wow, the Xbox version actually didn't look all that good. Uh, now that I can see this one. So I, I stand by what I said in the video, and that I think the graphics are still totally passable, and the game still holds up there. Um, but if you do have the 360 version, I mean, this just looks so much more like beautiful and luscious and detailed. Like this, this just seems amazing. Um, hey -o! oh Oh, God! Right into the ground! Oh, my God, okay. Hey, wait. Uh, you know what's funny? You can get in this car, and then you can go into, like, stunt position. Yeah! Then we can jump off the vehicle! 
<laughs> Let's do an actual stunt. I want to like parachute into the water off like a mountain or something. Like that'll be totally awesome. Get out of my way. Oh, I totally killed your buddy. They're like, oh my god, they killed Jose. Run. Look, we can also, uh, we can also blow up this uh, explosive barrel thing here. Boom, 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 boom. How's that for your farm? Well, that was weird. The kind of bottom of the explosion, the graphic was kind of odd. <laughs> that woman was like, you just blew up uh, $10,000 worth of fuel. Give me your truck. Hey, look, there's, there's a little settlement over here, too. Hold on. Check this out. Look, everything's, like, shining off the trucks and stuff. Oh, my God, look, it's a whole cute little village. Oh, is this the one that I liberate later on? Possibly. Oh, yeah, it totally is. Oh, this is the village we were just at. So here's what it looks like in glorious Xbox 360. Things just look... Oh, there's a nun. I guess you can kill nuns in this. Boy, that's hardcore. Killing a nun. Um, so, yeah, I guess uh, everything just looks a little more polished, a little cleaner... A little more awesome. Oh, damn it. I ah, I always think the button to get a stunt ready is Y, but that's the button to, like, dive out of your car. Okay, hold on. Give me your car. Give me your car. Both of you, get out. Okay. Oh, wait, we're just straight up going to run him over in the process. Okay, here comes the stunt you've all been waiting for. Trust me, it'll be awesome. First, we get some momentum going. Then we get onto our car. And then, hi -oh! I wanted to jump off it while I was going there. Oh, look, there it goes. Okay, hold on, whatever. Hey, -o! The open sky, the fresh, clean air. What's not to like? Oh, look, he even, he's even commenting the way I'm commenting. He's like, ah, beautiful, beautiful tropical paradise. That's awesome. Um, anyway, yeah, Just Cause here, it's it's a neat idea for a game. It's not a game that I myself really played all that much, um, but the, the setting is totally awesome. Look how these boats just, like, go right towards you. That's awesome, yes. Come here. Hey, what's going on, buddy? Mind if I... Oh, I pushed him out of the water! <laughs> yeah. Uh, that, that's convenient. I mean, there's a lot of mechanics that make this game easy to play. The fact that boats just come right to you. But, I mean, just look at this. This is like a gorgeous island paradise. Even if you just wanted to mess around in this game, like maybe you can't afford to go on tropical vacations like most of us. Like I can't remember last time I have gone on a tropical vacation. Um, I went like once or twice to undergrad with friends, which is awesome. But like, you know, these days, who can afford such things? But uh, it's just sort of like a nice escape. Like this, this is such a cool idea for a game. I I'm totally in favor of this. I, uh, you know, this is one of the games in the book, A Thousand One Video Games You Must Play Before You Die. Um, I really think that Just Cause games, you know, again, I haven't played the sequels. I think one of them, at least, is in the book. Because uh, I know the sequels get even more interesting with the grapple. And you can, like, grapple helicopters and stuff and, like, fly on jets. And it's, like, a really sort of, like, fun um, open-world game. Is that a sea -Doo? Is that a sea -Doo? I wonder if we could get a sea -Doo. Where's that sea -Doo guy going? Is he going away? Oh, man, if we could get a sea -Doo. If we could end this game on a sea -Doo. That would just be boss. He is kind of slowly trying to evade me. I want to jump out of my boat and see if he'll stop. But at the same time, I'm worried he'll just keep going. He'll just keep trying to uh, get away from me. Oh, I think he stopped. I think he's temporarily paused. Okay. It's, uh, we just like threw our boat at him. Oh, he seems to just be paused there. Swim as fast as you can, man! You gotta get this guy's freaking sea dew! Come on, come on, come on! Oh, what? He's holding his gun out. Oh, let me, let me, let me help you there, buddy. See ya! Oh, yeah, we're ending on a sea dew! This is the gaming J vacation that I always dreamed of. Yeah, victory sea dew! Oh, God, this looks so fun. So fun. Yeah, I don't know if you should necessarily play this game, um, but I do definitely feel like there's a lot of fun here. And with the grapple and the sequels, you know, Just Cause is kind of a cool series. If you never checked it out and you're into open world games, there's definitely going to be a game here for you to enjoy. So those are my thoughts on it. What do you guys think of Just Cause here? Does it seem intriguing or interesting to you? Do you Are, are you falling in love with the tropical landscape like I am? Or do you think I'm being overly dramatic about it? Whatever the case may be, let me know in the comments down below. As always, I love hearing from you guys. And whatever you think of the game, whatever you think of my assessment of the game, hopefully I've made today entertaining for you. If I have, go ahead and remember to slap that like button so I know that you like it. Remember to be subscribed and all that jazz. I'll be back soon with a new video in the ongoing saga to try and play through the book. A Thousand One Games is played before you die. Hey, there's a starting beach. Um, so you don't want to miss out on that. So until next time, my friends, you all take care of yourselves. And uh, peace. Oh, man, I seem to have beached my, my sea dude. No!
Oh, the dream is dead. Ah, oh, the dream is dead. Let's just destroy this thing so that no one else can ever ride it. Oh my god, the dream's alive! What are you doing here, buddy? Hey, come here for a second. I want to show you something. Yeah! <laughs> ah, freedom! Oh, God. Freedom! Oh, you can deploy your parachute off of the thing. Holy crap. Well, now what? Huh.